Hi everyone, today we are going to learn about dilations. And dilations are different than isometries because in the isometries, remember that the shapes stayed the same size and shape. We just moved them, rotated, reflected them. Well, today we're going to take shapes and actually grow them or shrink them or enlarge them or reduce them is another way to say it. So in our notation, D always stands for dilation and we're going to dilate triangle ABC and we're going to do it by a scale factor of 2. So this number right here I've highlighted just because again that is an important part of this transformation notation. So I have put the coordinates right here of triangle ABC and when we do a dilation we just multiply every single XY coordinate by this scale factor here. So if I multiply 2 times 2, I'm just going to get 4. And if I multiply negative 1 times 2, I'm going to get negative 2. I'm going to do the same thing for every set of coordinates. So for B, and again, you always want to do this first and then graph it, otherwise it just gets really complicated. So 2 times 2, I mean 2 times negative 2 would be negative 4. 1 times 2, is 2. And doing the same here, 2 times 0, of course, would be 0. And 2 times negative 2 would be negative 4. Now that I have those coordinates, then it's easy to graph. So what we've done is we have just increased this by a scale factor, or every single set of corresponding sides, um, I've increased it by a scale factor of 2. Now let's do another one where we actually go in reverse. What I want to know here is what the scale factor is. So in the last one, we were given the scale factor of 2, but this one, we don't know what it is. Well, first of all, I'm starting with this red one right here, and I can tell that the one in black is my enlargement because I see the prime. So that's the first thing I need to do is recognize if it's a reduction or an enlargement because I have T here and T prime, it's an enlargement. And then I need to figure out what the scale factor is. Now a lot of you looking at might think, well, it's 6 over 3, so it's 2. But you actually have to think of this as two different triangles. So if it's easy, easier for you, just um, separate it and redraw it. So I have this black one. And this whole side right here is 6 plus 3, which is 9. And it's over 3. And I've listed the larger number on top because it's an enlargement. And then again, this little red triangle was 3, so that just simplifies to 3. So this, um, putting this back, this dilation was an enlargement with a scale factor of 3. So a couple of things to jot down and that I want you to know for your video quiz. Obviously I need want you to know the notation for a dilation and what each part of it means, but also just a couple of things to note. It's an enlargement if the scale factor is greater than 1. So again, make sure you jot that down. It's a reduction if the scale factor is less than 1. So if it's a decimal or a fraction, then we know that it's a reduction. And dilations create similar triangles because remember when we learned about similar triangles that all the sets of corresponding sides had to have the same scale factor and the corresponding angles were congruent. Same thing happened here. Um, I'll see you guys in class.